My name's Marcus Bulstrode and I work for the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. I'm a cane extension officer and I work with cane growers to support them improving their practices to improve Great Barrier Reef water quality. This machine is a herbicide or pesticide spray drone. We've mapped some patches of weed within the paddock earlier and this machine is capable of going out and just spraying those patches so we can use a fraction of the chemical that we did previously. The project that I have going at the moment is a three year project in collaboration with Innisfail cane growers. Jointly between DAF and cane growers we've come up with a, a plan to have this particular machine spray vines in cane, so red convolvulus in particular. If we look here there's a creek just very close to the cane paddock so potentially anything that's applied to this paddock here could end up in this waterway moving its way to the Great Barrier Reef. So if we can reduce the amount of herbicide and pesticides we put on the cane, that's going to improve reef water quality. Being able to spray weeds from a drone really began with Dick Camilleri, who's a cane farmer uh, from the region. And some years ago, he had the idea that instead of spraying basically the whole paddock, if he could just go out and target the weeds, he would be able to greatly reduce the amount of herbicide that he puts out. It took a couple of years to get that machine going, and during that time, commercial products became available. This machine is a DJI product, it comes out of China, and basically it's an out-of-the-box, ready-to-fly spray drone. Over the last few months we've been working with this machine just to make it a little bit better suited to the environment we have here in the wet tropics. So what I'm going to do now is put some water into the machine and run it through the sprayers. The machine is fitted with four spray nozzles. Pairs of these nozzles can be turned off independently. We have changed the spray nozzles in this machine to optimise the droplet size for the spray activity we're doing. The nozzle is a very, very important part of it. And without the right nozzle, you can be putting out spray either too much, too little, without any real effect. Prior to going out with the spray drone, I take out a much smaller machine, which is a, a machine designed for mapping. Very quickly I can just roll into the image. It's a very high resolution image. On the ground I can see an object of two centimetres. You can see the area that does have the vine in it. We'll see that the rest of the block is actually quite clean. This is exactly the sort of thing that the machine is built for. It can go in and fly this zone only. I've been able to put its flight path over the top of the area that we know the vine is in. And so the machine will actually move up and down these rows, spraying as it goes to take out the vine. With a full tank of herbicide, which is 10 litres, it can fly for approximately 10 minutes. So that means that you pre-map the area, you know where the weeds are, you set up a polygon for the machine to fly, so that's a, an area for it to target with its spray. The machine will take off and then go directly to those patches and spray them very quickly and of course return. So though you're only flying for 10 minutes, which seems a very short period of time, You've done a lot of the background work to reduce the time this machine's in the air and it does its spraying very quickly. One of the advantages of this machine is that you can get onto the, the, the particular cane block at any time of the year, whether it's wet or dry. And of course it can actually force down the droplets down through the cane to be able to get onto the target weed. When I finish spraying, I can actually get the hose and hose it down, which always feels a little bit strange with a very sophisticated bit of equipment to be putting the hose on it. But once again, it's built for the job. This size drone, and because it's putting out a registered chemical, requires very specific accreditation and licensing. This is not a machine for everyone to be able to fly. You have to have that correct licensing. I would picture in the future that cane cooperative groups may own a machine or possibly contractors who will have the correct licensing and then come out and be able to do the spray activity.